Hi. My name is JC McCauley. I'm Naisha McCauley, and, and you're, you're watching, watching AccessTV.org. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Oh my goodness, and uh, we're coming into December. Uh, I would like to uh, let everybody know um, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> I hope it, I hope it be 70 degrees out, but it's not. I hope everybody had a fantastic, enjoyable Thanksgiving and spent their time with their family um, as well. And um, just, you know, one thing you need to do is just take care of you. Okay, spend time with you, um, and that's a good thing. I've been doing a lot of that, and you know, try to have peace in your life. But you know what? I have a person that is came back to my show. I asked her to come back. Very involved in writing books, and um, wow, she's a interesting woman. She's doing a lot, and uh, what I want to do is right now is I want to introduce her, Dr. Jackie Evans. Phillips. She is founder, owner of Life Changers Consulting LLC. Also, she's a midwife of purpose. Now, you know, we all have a purpose in life here. And, you know, you have to connect to the pur purpose, connect to the people, connect to, the, to God, and uh, stay prayerful. But I, what I want to do is welcome, welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, um, Last time we spoke, we spoke mm -hmm. about your book, mm -hmm. and you were on. Um, it was... Soaring into Greatness. Yeah, um, yep, Soaring into Greatness. What a wonderful book. You know, it was a different type of people talking about mm -hmm. uh, what they were going through. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, how did you actually meet these people? First of all, I want to stop right there. Um, can you tell our viewers just a little bit about you if they haven't uh, seen you? You know, we want to recap. Okay. Well, my name is Dr. Jackie Evans Phillips, and I'm the founder of Life Changes Consulting. And um, my mission is to empower individuals one, to ignite the warrior spirit within them, two, write, share, and publish their story, and three, to create impact. Mm -hmm. And so, what I do is that through my movement, the Sony into Greatness movement, I help individuals really understand the purpose of their journey. And understanding the purpose of the journey, they understand the power in the in the valley. So, what I do with individuals is that it's on three three levels. So, in, an individual may come to me at, a, at at any of the three levels. One, where they're trying to discover what their purpose may be. Mm -hmm. And so, what I do is I help them ignite that warrior spirit, and I really help them understand the power of the valley. And in understanding the power of the valley, we'll move to this book. Mm -hmm. The second, an individual may come to me saying that I want to write and publish my book. Mm -hmm. So I help them through that process. And an individual may come to me saying that I want to create impact. And so we could look at impact in terms of writing and developing your book to expand your platform. Or you may want to write your book to share and make a difference in the lives of someone else. Okay. Have some of these people who wanted to write their books come, um, uh, will write about discipline in their life? And how their life has changed. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. When we look at, um, let's talk a little bit about the power of the valley and even in Soaring into Greatness. The power of the valley and Soaring into Greatness, um, it's a, a compilation. Mm -hmm. So this talks about, this, this process is a 10-month process where I work with an individual identifying a life-defining moment. Mm -hmm. And in identifying a life-defining moment, we talk about it's a very holistic process. And in the process, we talk about, I help them go through the stages of going through a valley. Mm -hmm. And this book talks about going through the stages of going through the valley. Mm -hmm. There are five stages in going through a valley. And the first stage, and what you- I gotta you, interrupt go, you one time. Um, this is also good for um, soaring of greatness too. You yes, just, you yes, 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 yeah. So 
Okay, so let's go back into it. So I wrote the book Soaring Into Greatness. Mm -hmm. And Soaring Into Greatness talks about soaring into greatness. And we know that in our lives, there are hills and valleys. And so I talked about how do you go through adversity, but yet you're able to soar into greatness. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. We talked about exactly how do you push through and maintain despite adversity. This year, the Spirit said to me, Jacqueline, why don't you write about the valley? Mm. A lot of our people are stuck in the valley. Exactly. How yeah, do we you, are. <laughs> how do you navigate the valley? Because before we're able to soar into greatness, we need to understand exactly how do we able to push people through the valley? So over the past year, I've been on a journey of deconstructing the valley moments in our lives. Mm. And I came up with five stages. And the first stage is impact. You get collided with a crisis and you ask, why me? Mm. Why am I going through? And the, 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 the process of going through the valley occurs at a conscious and a subconscious level. So consciously, we see a crisis, divorce, unemployment, sickness, whatever. And we ask, why me? Mm -hmm. And then what happens, then we go into stage two, which is called emotional paralysis. But let's go back to stage one. Subconsciously, what happens is that a seed of greatness is planted in you. Stage two, as the title calls it, emotional paralysis. Mm. Emotional par paralysis could last from one hour to years. Wow. And what happens in that stage is that, as the name says, is that we get emotionally par paral paralyzed. And then we cannot make conscious decisions. And what happens is that if the paralysis exists for a tremendous amount of time, we may need external intervention. Mm. But what happens then is that the next stage from emotional paralysis is breakthrough. If you're not able to get into the stage of breakthrough, what happens to that seed of greatness? It gets aborted. Mm. And you get a lot of people who go between stage one and stage two and you ask, why aren't they going through breakthrough? Because they haven't got the, the power within themselves to get out of that paralysis. When you get to stage three, that's when you're able to use your support, the resources, the services, God, faith, mm. to help you push yourself out of that journey. It's not an easy journey. Mm. It may take a while going through that process, getting through a breakthrough. But what wow. happens when you get out of, out of breakthrough, the crisis diminish. Mm. So you're back, let's looking at hills and valleys, you're back to the top where you were. But what happens though, is that at stage three, even though the, the crisis and symptoms may be diminished, the emotional scars oh, linger. Wow. And you get a lot of people who carry those emotional scars. Mm -hmm. And so in order to get to the next stage, which is wholeness, you have to then realize that that the conscious and the subconscious, there was a process going on inside of you. And when you become aware and conscious of the subconscious process called transformation that occurred, then you realize, I understand the reason why you went through that valley. Mm. Wow, that is really interesting. Oh my goodness. And then once yes. you get out of that stage, you move into the stage of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You move into the stage of saying that, you know what, there is greater on my life. Mm -hmm. And then you move to the final stage, which is harvest. Because what happens now, that seed of greatness is now called a fruit. And with that fruit, there's a process of multiplication where you can then say, you know what, this valley is now my platform mm. and I'm here to create impact. Okay. But it's a process. Oh, yeah. So what I'm able to do with my authors is then I'm able to help them deconstruct and go backwards into valley moments. So we get stories okay, from... Okay, hold on. I'm going to stop. And we're going to go to the second half because this is getting real interesting because I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we'll be right back with Dr. Jackie. Jacqueline... Evans Phillips, okay? Um, she is the founder, owner of Life Changing, Life Changers Consulting LLC, mm -hmm. midwife of purpose. Reach out and get to your connections and you could probably move on. But that, I see there was a lot of distractions, but we'll be right back. Let's we'll make it happen. Hello. My name is Joshua Fee. 
I'm a member of Harper Communities That Care Youth Leadership Academy and the Vice President of the NAACP Greater Harvard Youth Council. For the past 27 weeks, we have been examining the intersection between education, poverty, violence, and trauma, and coming up with program and policy recommendations to improve in these areas. I serve on the Violence and Trauma Work Group, and we recommend the following. Support hospital-linked violence prevention program. This hospital and law enforcement partnership needs to be fully supported with resources to assist victims of violent crimes. Reboot the Governor's Commission on Youth and Urban Violence to examine the root causes of violence and develop effect policies for the state of Connecticut and its cities. Increase job opportunities for young people and adults to reduce poverty and improve their standard of living. Thank you for your time and I hope you can support our recommendations. Welcome back. Yes, I'm here again with Dr. Jackie Evans Phillips. Yeah, that's right. And boy, she's been talking a whole lot. And um, wow, she's the founder owner of Life Changers Consulting LLC, a midwife of purpose. So um, we were talking about uh, life changes and mm -hmm. we were talking about how people have to go through. Yes. And uh, once they finally go through. Yes. Um, they can soar. Yes, the, the key thing about it is that we all have a story and in order for us to understand sometimes that we get crippled by our valley moments and understanding that there is actually power in your valley. So what I help individuals, individuals get to the point of understanding, helping them deconstruct the valley moments they've been and helping them identify how that moment and that experience can be a platform one, and two, your story can then bless the lives of other people who are stuck in that process. Mm -hmm. And so that's how the writing comes about. So when we look at the authors, we have 15 co-authors, and I'm just going to recognize them. Mm -hmm. um, we have James Black, we have Shauna Brown, we have Alana Chambers, we have Kimberly Gordon, we have Crystal Hammer, we have Sasha Hayden, Jamin Lee, Reverend Martha Telka Ouellette, and Mary Richards, Monique Price Taylor, Madonna Thompson, Ainsworth Thompson, Sonia Ware, Tashala Williams, and, and Stephen Wilson. Okay, so how do they hear about you? And so it's, it comes in different sources, different moments, oh, really? and it's just in, in connection with it, connecting, and it's a matter of, um, when we talk about their story, it's a matter of, I want to share my story. Mm -hmm. And so we have stories of being arrested, we have stories of abuse, we have stories of molestation, we have stories of, of of domestic violence, we have stories mm -hmm. of cancer, we have stories, I mean, everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. And so it's a matter of understanding exactly, my story now is to bless the lives of someone else. Mm -hmm. And so what it entails is just a matter of writing a chapter. You don't need to write, because what I do, I help you through the process oh, wow. of going through that process. But understanding that there's a greater need and that greater need and demand is letting your story bless the lives of someone else. Okay. What's the youngest person you've had? Well, all of these are adults. I mean, but do you have anything about um, it? I'm looking to work in this next year, I'm going to be doing a youth arm. Okay. So at least I'll be working with young people and want to get into the schools and help, really helping our, our, our young people really share their stories mm -hmm. or really be, get into the part of sharing whatever is within themselves in terms of art and, and the word. Mm -hmm. But not only that, so that's one you may be at a point where you want to write your own book. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing this spring, starting in December, is that I'm going to be doing writer circles. Okay. And in the writer circles, I'm looking for individuals. I'm going to work in a cohort. And I'm going to take them through the writing process. Okay. And the whole process of this is accountability. So there are a lot of people who want to write books. Yeah, but, but, it's a, be there and but it's a matter of I cannot do it or I've started or... Um, Some people get stuck. They get stuck. <laughs> so what we're going to do is that it's, it's going to be based on accountability. You'll have an accountability partner mm. we, on a biweekly basis. We also work in a group and they also do one-on-one -on -one with me in the month. Oh. And so every two weeks we're going to be writing a chapter. Mm. So the goal is by the end of the first quarter, your manuscript will be done. Oh, wow. So I'm looking for individuals who are ready to write and are, are determined that they need to get a book in the first, in the first quarter of the year. Okay. We're ready to work. Just get in touch with me, and we're going to push them to the next level. Okay. Wow. That is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like the first book of Soaring into Greatness. And uh, 
power. The power of, is a must yes, read. It's yes. a really must read in terms of because we could all relate because there's a story in there that relates to you. Mm -hmm. There's a story in there that shows you the interesting thing about it is that what happens is that when you get on the left side of a crisis, you think it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But when you get on the right side of the crisis, because even looking at my personal journey, I, w I was an administrator in higher education. And what happened is that um, there was a reorganization. Mm. And I asked God, why me? Just got my doctorate. <laughs> and look at how God has pushed mm -hmm. me and, and channeled me in a different direction. So it's a matter of understanding exactly how God uses our situations mm -hmm. to be the vehicle to take us into that next level. Mm -hmm. And as a midwife of purpose, my assignment is to help individuals understand how they could take everything they have and package it and I help them understand and usher them into that next dimension. Mm. Wow, that is so interesting. Yeah, because as I go to some of these events, people mm. have gone through so yes, much. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, but understand yes. that the, the triumph in that valley. Yeah. Understand there's the power that exists. And once we're able to, to look at that mindset and, and understand that, then we could see that there was a reason why because I'm going to use a biblical term in terms that sometimes there are pharaohs that come into our lives and we curse them. Mm. But we have to get to that transformative stage where we understand that that was a blessing wow. and see exactly what is my next. And by understanding your next, you value that pharaoh. Mm -mm. Wow. Well, we're going to be right back with Make It Happen. <laughs> yes. And it's very good, I, I tell you, with Jackie Evans Phillips. Oh, wow. Yeah, everybody got to get this book because we're going to tell you the next um, yes. uh, next segment, tell yes. you how. Okay, yes. so we'll be right back with Make It Happen. Hello, my name is Deja Bournes. I am a member of the Youth Leadership Program of Hartford Communities That Care. We have been examining the intersection between education, poverty, violence, and trauma for the past 27 weeks and to develop policy and program recommendations. I served on the poverty work group and the following is our recommendations. Organize resources to support entrepreneurs, expand efforts to provide high qualified mentors for teens, place priority on investments in affordable high quality childcare and early education, Focus on giving people the tools to start new enterprises that will improve their circumstances and spur economic growth, as well as removing barriers to small business growth. Repair and strengthen the safety net to make sure there are safeguards in place that apply equally to all people. Reduce the large gaps between the very rich and the rest of society and make it easier for people to get into the middle class also to address the gaps that persist for African Americans in educational attainment, employment wages and income, family wealth and home ownership, health and infant mortality and incarceration. Thank you for your time and I hope you could support our recommendations. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm finishing up my last segment. I'm here with Dr. Jackie Evans Phillips, um, founder, owner, Life Changers Consulting LLC, and a midwife of purpose. Now, let's continue on because I want everybody to grab this. This is a very good information um, how maybe you can change your life. Mm -hmm. You know, as they say, you know, yeah, I'm talking to myself, too. So everybody has to make different changes in their life yes. to, you know, move yes, on and yes. go up there and move forward. So let's continue on. Well, the key thing about it, especially this is this is a critical time of the year as we as we end one year. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to reflect, reflect on where we started this year, 2018 and, and our goals and how how have we accomplished mm -hmm. our goals. And um, and also thinking about our journey through this year. And as we reflect on our journey too, we realized that there were, there were successes and there were valleys mm -hmm. in, in this, this year. And the key thing about, about this book is that you'll be blessed by the stories. Mm -hmm. You'll be blessed by the authors in terms of how they were able to overcome and recognize that, that there was power in the valleys. But also of utmost importance, in addition to the stories, is understanding 
the stages of the valley because my goal is for everyone to understand that there are stages in the valley so as you go through your different stages or, or wherever you are it's an assessment for you to see okay i am currently at stage x mm. and there's stage y and there is there are other stages after that you know so it's important for us to understand that the first stage is impact then emotional paralysis then breakthrough then we look at wholeness and we look at harvest. Mm. So understanding that you're not buried in that valley and understanding that it takes work to get through that valley, but mm. understanding on the other side, there's a process called transformation or you're going through that transformation. So wherever you are in life, it's important to understand that this is not the end. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's good. And let me say one thing. Um, you're uh, a doctor of education with a master in clinical psychology, yes, which is yes, good. Because, yes, you know, yes. I think that adds to it. Yeah, it, really it does. Adds I to see it. That. Yes, yeah. it really adds to it. It's interesting. Um, as we go through life, sometimes we will like how all the pieces of your life just mm. merge together. And when and, and it's funny when we talk about God has a plan for your life, mm -hmm. you'll go, you'll do X, you'll do Y, and you're like, okay, I did this, I do that. How does that all come together? Mm. And when you actually live in your purpose and your assignment. It all comes together. Oh, okay. So having that background in clinical psychology really helps me to understand working with people and helping them process too. So when I write, I don't even, I mean, I write, but I also write with an intention to help people get through. Mm, mm, mm. So that's where the, um, the, the whole developing the stages of a valley really comes through. Wow. But my goal is a um, couple of things as we wrap up yes. is if you are interested in writing and, um, well, the, under the three things, if you really want to ignite the warrior in you, I have something for everyone. If you really want to ignite the warrior in you, I have a 30 day program called 30 days towards greatness. I'm mm -hmm. going to be starting in January. Mm -hmm. So I would say connect with me because we need to ignite that warrior yes, inside of you. If you mm -hmm. want to write and share your story, you have a story to tell, mm -hmm. connect with me. Mm -hmm. If you have a book that you want to get published, connect with me. Okay. And for connection, um, can you give uh, the viewers out there your information, your contact information, and for people that want to actually talk to you, mm -hmm. and you know, that say, yes, I'm interested, but I'm not ready right now, yes. go for it and give me So, um, it's, it'll be on the screen as well, but um, you could connect with me at drjackiephillips.com, that's my website. Connect with me on, on Facebook at Dr. Jackie Evans Phillips, um, one word, Dr. Jackie is, is one word on Facebook. And also um, email, you could connect with me at info at drjackiephillips.com. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. It's a but, pleasure. Um, very last thing, do you always tell people that, you know, that come to your um, sessions and uh, write, write the books to uh, continue um, goal setting? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's actually a movement. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea is being part of that movement, movement is that you're, you're becoming a life changer. Mm -hmm. And as, as a life changer, your, your goal is to, live, to be bold mm -hmm. and live a life of intention. And that, living a life of intention is that you're, you're igniting that warrior spirit within you. Mm -hmm. okay. so, but we take it to the next level of yeah. writing and sharing and publishing your story. Okay. Now, do you write your goals down real quick? Oh, definitely. I, I plan my lives in quarters. Yeah. Okay. So as you plan your life in quarters, then you're able to see exactly what yeah. do I want to achieve in the first quarter, yeah. second quarter, third I quarter. When you write your goals, yes. you know, you go take a look at them, switch them up and exactly. do whatever, but that's a little exactly. information for me. Exactly. And I try to stay close to these people, so I got to <laughs> I gotta really hook up with these people. And, um, you know, uh, there's another young lady that I can't remember. She's going to kill me. But anyway, um, Shantae. Yes. Shantae, she's very good. And, um, you can get this on Amazon. Yes, and don't forget, yeah, get it on Amazon. It's on Amazon if you want to get it. Um, you can reach out to me or you can get it. I mean, it's very important as you actually end the year and start the year to really understand the power that there, that exists in your valley and also also to read the inspirational stories from our 15 co-authors of okay. this book. Very powerful. Yeah. Well, thank you again. It's a pleasure, All as right. always. And um, I'll see you next time. I'll make it happen. So have a blessed day. Stay calm. Don't worry if things just happen all around you. <laughs> just go through it. <laughs> and um, have a blessed day. And um, just pray. <laughs> That's what I do. Yes, anyway, yes. Uh, love somebody, help somebody, do something nice for somebody. Have a great day. Bye.